All right, today is going to be a fun day. This whole weekend is going to be a fun weekend. Um, my buddy Nate and I are heading off for a, a, a longish trip up to Bear Lake. Um, it's about 160 miles from here, and we're going to do a bunch of riding up there and then come back uh, on Monday. That's the plan, um, which is cool. This is definitely going to be the longest ride that I've been on on this bike. Uh, there's Nate. Say hi. Go check Ready out to his... roll. <laughs> Go check out his bike. He's got the 790 Adventure R. So, with all this awesome hard luggage. Anyway, yeah, so uh, I've got a an Airbnb that, you know, we'd rent out up at Bear Lake and it was free this week. I invited a bunch of buddies up, but it ended up, ended up only being Nate and me that could go, so, and we're the bikers, so we decided we'd bike it. Stay tuned. All right, so uh, for huge portions of this video, it turns out that my microphone was not plugged into my GoPro while I was recording, uh, so the audio is just horrible. Uh, the scenery is awesome, though, so uh, for those sections, you're going to see a lot of cool uh, scenery. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll probably throw on some music. If that's not the type of thing you like, I totally get it. I will uh, create some bookmarks when I upload this to YouTube, so it will be easy for you to skip over those musical montage sections if you so desire. And uh, where we are right now in the video is at the mouth of Provo Canyon. It's uh, a canyon that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, I grew up right at the mouth of it. I've been up and down it a thousand times, uh, although I believe, oddly enough, that this is my first time going into Provo Canyon on a motorcycle. Uh, so that's kind of an exciting thing for me. Uh, it's the first of many canyons on this ride, and they're all gorgeous. So here we are, day two. Uh, obviously still no good audio from my GoPro, so I just wanted to pipe in for a second. Here we're in Paris, Idaho. I've never been to Paris, France yet, uh, but on a motorcycle, uh, 
Paris, Idaho makes a worthy substitute. Uh, this is the first time we hit some off-road, albeit some pretty tame off-road on this trip. What we're doing here is looking for an ice cave uh, that we'd heard about uh, that was in Paris, Idaho. All right, switched over to my fancy phone camera here. Didn't want to disconnect my GoPro from my helmet. Sure enough, snow. Yeah. Look at that. That looks kind of treacherous. All right, I'm going to put this away because I think I need two hands for balancing this. Cool. Board bridge. This pond inside. With ice under the water. A cool little spot. All right, trying to overcome my fear of heights to look down into here. Get a little perspective because of that little person down there. It's a pretty big drop though. Okay, so after the uh, ice cave, we just kind of explored around that area. Lots of cool trails. We tried to find some uh, springs that uh, were on a sign. We never really found them. Uh, but it was just uh, a super pretty area, so I'm going to show some footage of it. <laughs>
All right, so on day three, uh, we decided to change things up a little bit, and we drove into Logan, Utah, which is the nearest big or big-ish town to Bear Lake. Um, and to get there, we had to drive through Logan Canyon, which is just an amazing, gorgeous canyon that's about 40 miles long. Um, really fell in love with it the first time uh, my wife and I came here with our kids. Uh, three years ago, that's when we decided to invest in the uh, in the property here. And uh, every time that we've come, I've just been so envious of all the motorcycles that I see driving through this canyon. Uh, it's got lots and lots of twisties, just gorgeous views. Um, so I'm very excited that I finally got the chance to experience it on a bike. And again, uh, obviously my, uh, my stupid microphone was not plugged in. I shouldn't blame the microphone, it's not its fault. Um, the stupid human controlling the microphone didn't plug it in. Uh, but later in this day, I finally noticed that it wasn't plugged in, and so there's some actual live narration at that point. So we drive through this canyon, we got some lunch, um, and then we found another little canyon that was, uh, again, super pretty, unpaved, a little bit rougher than uh, the, the off-roading that we did yesterday. Still not, still not bad, but just right for uh, these KTMs. Uh, and incidentally, the, the, the bike has just performed amazingly. I loved it for this trip, especially for the long stretches of pavement. Um, if you follow my channel, you know that I really love my Honda CRF 300L Rally, uh, which is amazing for the, um, you know, the desert exploration that I do uh, right near my house. When I go solo, it's light uh, and um, it's really better for me off-road than this. But uh, for a trip like this, where we just had uh, lots and lots of uh, highway to burn through at pretty high speeds, um, probably 80-85% of this trip was on-road. Uh, this KTM just performed brilliantly. No issues with it at all. Um, quite comfortable. The seat did get a little bit um, bothersome after about five hours. Uh, but, you know, uh, my old butt may have gotten sore on any seat uh, after five hours. Uh, just needs to be conditioned. Um, I don't usually drive five hours straight for four days in a row. Uh, but, yeah, I, ju I just loved it. I I'm really happy with uh, the KTM at this point. Uh, I put about 2,000 miles on it maybe uh, since I got it, maybe 1,800. And... Uh, yeah, no issues for me. I know KTM doesn't have a reputation for uh, reliability, and I also know that, you know, 1,800 miles isn't really enough to gauge that thoroughly, but I'm really happy with it so far. And uh, all the technology bells and whistles are, are just really suited, in my opinion, for this type of uh, what I would call adventure riding versus, uh, you know, more dual sport riding, which is what I would call what I do uh, out in the desert uh, by my house. Uh, but for a trip like this, things like uh, cruise control are just amazing. And uh, I, I can't overstate the niceness of the extra power on the freeway. We could be going 80 miles an hour and if I, if I felt like I needed to pass somebody, uh, you know, I, I don't like being right next to semis, for in instance. Um, if, I, if I wanted to, I had plenty of get up and go, even at, even at those speeds. So um, really, really well suited for this type of uh, trip. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to show some more footage of this canyon, which I just think is amazing. Uh, then I'll show footage of us going up Green Canyon. That's the uh, little uh, unpaved canyon that we found uh, outside of Logan. Uh, and then at that point, uh, there will be a little bit more live narration because I finally plugged in my microphone. And we'll go to that point.
right, so we are at the end of the trail coming up Green Canyon outside of Logan. Um, I've got a lot of footage of the other one, but I just realized just now that my mic wasn't plugged in today or yesterday, I don't think. So probably going to be some overdubbing that you will have been experiencing. Uh, but it was a fun little off-roading experience on our adventure bikes. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous area up here. And we came to the end, and going forward, there's, I don't know if we're even allowed to go up that way, but here comes some bikers. But we're not going to do it on our bikes, not that single track trail. Anyway, we are about, let's see how far we are into this trip. We've been through Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, we're at 394.9, or is that, no, 384.9, so just coming up on 400 miles. Uh, this is our third day, um, still have a few hundred to go, so yeah, this is quite the adventure. All right, we're about to head back down Green Canyon, um, then we're going to go through, you wouldn't have heard me talking about it, but uh, Logan Canyon is how we get back to Bear Lake, and it's just a gorgeous ride that you probably already saw footage of it, but going the other way uh, is extra cool because when you come out you just get this awesome view of uh, Bear Lake um, Hopefully it's a good time of day where you can just see the blues of it. They call it the Caribbean of the Rockies Because um, of how blue it is and so there's some mineral in there that makes it that gives it that blue color lots of different shades of it Yeah, so this will be a fun uh, little additional off-roading get getting out of this canyon and then a gorgeous ride back down to Bear Lake we were just talking about our tires, how we we still got the knobbies on the edges. You can tell what kind of riding I do. Not, I, I'm not cutting corners super aggressively on this thing. Um, but maybe we'll get some of those knocked off today in this dirt. All right, actually going to off-road since we rode all the way up here in street mode. Let's see if it makes any difference. Still in road ABS mode, but there's nothing too hairy on this, so I don't care. All right, before we go down, we're going to actually see where this one goes. It looks like it goes up a little farther. <laughs> we're up here feeling proud of ourselves on these adventure bikes, and then there's a Civic. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, looks like we're heading back down. At least they made it nice and easy for us to turn around. Yeah. Let's see what we're at. Uh, we've, we're sitting at three hours of riding, um, another hour to get through the canyon. Um, so that'll put us at four. It seems like lately about five is when I start getting super butt hurt. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I wish the lake was right here right now. I'm feeling real hot. <laughs> I'm having this conversation with Nate. Maybe I'm gonna, um, I'll, I'll have you come back and, and overdub your half of the conversation. Look at this deep water crossing we're doing. whisked out and went around the edge of that one. <laughs> I was just worried about the depth. I couldn't tell if it was half an inch or one whole inch. I mean... <laughs> Alright, so this is heading into Logan Canyon. It's about 40 miles long and then on the other end is Bear Lake. So I'll get a little bit of footage um, going this way just because it's a gorgeous ride. But I'll definitely throw the camera on when we get up towards the lake, you know? So 
So we took a quick detour up to, this is called Tony Grove. This is a cool little side path that I've never taken and it's just gorgeous up here. I didn't have my camera on, hopefully I can get it on the way back, but there's just awesome fields of yellow flowers and apparently a lake up here that we may or may not jump into. Awesome. kind of cool if we found out this is another way over the mountain into Bear Lake. <laughs> We're getting up to snow elevation, so Nate is starting to have second thoughts about jumping into whatever lake is up here. All right, looks like we are at the lake. Lots of cars coming up at least. I did not see water yet. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Got a got a paddle border out there too. All right, I'm gonna have to sign off, conserve my battery because I don't have much left and you got to see that vision of coming in over the mountain to Bear Lake. So signing off for now. All right, we're braving it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rock right there. You're on camera, by the way. Nice. Woo, drunk. Woo, this is cold. <sighs> this is cold. <laughs> oh, are you okay? <laughs> now that you're in. Woo! Well, I'd say it's colder than barely. Oh, yeah. I'm not warming up yet. <laughs> Woo, baby! That All right. I gotta, I gotta, melted ice water. I gotta put my... Uh, melted snow. Gonna put my camera down so I don't oh. get it wet. All right, getting to the point where we're about to come turn around a corner and see Bear Lake. <laughs> One more corner. <laughs> One more corner. Lock in lower gear now. Probably not talking to motorcycles. There she blows. Look at that. Who knows how well it'll look on the video, but that is an awesome view. That is the view that made us fall in love with this area. Yeah, I don't know if I got any footage of downtown Garden City, but this is it. Small little town, but fun little town. Well, this is the morning we head home. It's about 6.45 a.m. right now, Just standing on the deck of our place. It's been an awesome trip about five hours of riding every day about another four four now getting home and then we'll call it a trip all right we are loaded up on the road gassed up 
heading out of Garden City, Utah, going up through Wyoming. Like I said, we're gonna go slightly different route home uh, that will not be quite as scenic, but shave off 45 minutes or so. Anxious to get back home at this point, so it's been an awesome weekend. Lots of miles, lots of fun rides. All right, I am pulling back into my neighborhood. This has been one heck of a weekend. Sitting at 662.5 miles at the moment since I left my house on Friday. It's Monday now. Um, yeah, and this, this KTM has performed flawlessly, no issues. I'm really liking this thing uh, for this type of riding where, you know, there's quite a bit of long stretches of high-speed road and things like that, but we still get to go on some off-road here and there. Um, perfect bike for that type of riding. Um, anyway, thanks for coming along on this little journey of ours. I appreciate you watching my videos. Subscribe to my channel if you feel like it. Ride safe.